The following video will walk you through how a customer contact approves or rejects time cards. To begin, your customer contact must log into Web Center 6 using their username and password. Once they have logged in, they will show up on the home page indicated by the tab up top. On the left hand side of the screen, we'll note all time cards currently in process. You'll know time cards that need to be reviewed, time cards that have been rejected, and time cards that are past due. You will also be able to access time cards by clicking on the time cards tab up top, but the time cards tab on the left hand side will be a good indicator of what needs to be done. By clicking on the review button, the system will take us directly into the time cards tab to all the time cards that are ready for review. Note at the top you can choose whether you want to look at all time cards, view reviewed time cards, rejected time cards, or past due time cards, depending on what is available at this time. Your customer contact will at this point will be able to review each time card and using the tabs on the right hand side approve or reject time cards. Working from left to right, the time your customer contact will have the option to print time cards, view time card information, including the job title, the hours, any adjustments and reimbursements. You'll also be able to view order information, including start time, end time, and any additional information that's been recorded within Enterprise on the job order. And they will be able to review the history of the time card, when it was created, when it was submitted, who it was submitted by. Additionally, they'll be able to see the employee, the job title department, and the week ending date that this time card has been submitted for. If they approve all time cards, they can approve all the remaining time cards or reject the remaining time cards. Otherwise, they're able to edit and approve each time card individually. By approving a time card, the time card will automatically funnel into Enterprise into the time entry area. By rejecting, the time card will be submitted back to the employee for review and to change the time card information. And to edit, we'd have to move up and click on All. To edit the time card by clicking on All, you'll be able to see, indicated in yellow and by a lock on the left-hand side of the screen, the time cards that have been submitted by employees. To edit a time card, a customer contact can simply click on the Unlock button and they are able to edit the time. You'll notice in this case we have weekly hours shown and we can edit the regular time, overtime, or double time. We can also use the column mode at the top right hand side of the screen to change this so these are daily totals. So now we can edit time for each day individually. Once the time is correct you're able to approve this time and submit, submit the selected time cards by simply selecting the box and clicking Submit Selected Time Cards. And any time cards under review that are correct, you're able to go in and simply click Approve to push those time cards forward into time entry within Enterprise. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support department or our training department.